Just three weeks of hard work and the Telegram team presents the new 7.6 update. The major improvement in voice chats in this update is just amazing, not to mention other cool innovations. We're gonna look at them in detail today. So watch this video till the end because I will also share what Pavel Durov promised to release this spring. Welcome to the Telebloke channel. Join our community right now. Click the subscribe button if you wanna be the first to get new videos about Telegram. And also join our channel in the messenger. T9 Gram is the place where you can find anything about Telegram. It hasn't been long since Telegram first introduced voice chats in December. But as you know, Telegram is a state-of-the-art messenger that adds new features and improvements as quickly as possible. Voice chats got a new 2.0 version, and they became available in channels too. And most importantly, there are no more limits on the number of participants. To start a voice chat, you have to be an admin. Open the profile of any group or channel, tap more and select start voice chat and you can also choose your name in the new voice chat with the 7.6 update users have the option to join with their personal account or appear as one of their channels if you don't want to reveal your identity then you should probably go for your channel name Another cool improvement is that you can now record audio from voice chats to save talks. Admins can share the so-called live broadcast with their subscribers. All you have to do is tap the three dots in a voice chat and press start recording. Once you finish recording, the audio file becomes instantly available in your saved messages, and then you can share it with whomever you like. By the way, chats that are gonna be recorded are marked with a red light next to their title. As promised earlier, Telegram took some of the features from the newfangled but fading Clubhouse. I mean, by default, all users in the voice chats are listeners. But if a person wants to say something, they can ask for permission. All you have to do is click on the icon of the person with the raised hand, and the admin in turn will see a small blue icon, signaling the user wants to join the conversation. To allow it, tap the blue icon and choose Allow to speak. Also, in a voice chat, if the user has a bio text, it's now visible just below their name. And if you tap on the person, you will see their full bio. The Telegram team believes that this info might help admins find a good slot for your questions or comments. Among other things, with the new 7.6 update, admins can add a title of the voice chat. To do this, you have to click on three dots and choose Change the chat name. Here you can find another feature called Invitation Link. By clicking on it, you create a link to invite users in Telegram. You can make two separate links, for speakers and for listeners. This way you won't need to unmute important guests when they join, and they can use a different link to promote the upcoming chat to their communities. So this was just a part of improvements. Next, we're having more fascinating features, and also what Pavel Durov is gonna introduce this spring. If you find this video useful, please don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up, because I appreciate your support. Besides the basic improvements in voice chats, Telegram added a few other improvements. One of them concerns sending several messages. If you choose the wrong chat by mistake when forwarding messages, then it's no problem at all. Press the X button before sending them to either cancel forwarding or choose a different chat. Besides, with a 7.6 update, when listening to long messages, you can also resume playback from where you left off. This was previously available for long videos and long audio tracks. The Android users got an extra feature that the iOS owners didn't. They can choose which action is assigned to swiping left in the chat list. To do this, click on the three dots in the left corner of the screen, then go to Settings, select Chat Settings, scroll down, and you'll see swiping left in the chat list. You can archive chats, pin, mute, delete, or mark them as read. A few hours after the update appeared in the Play Market, Pavel Durov posted in his English channel and reported that iOS users had to wait a little longer for the upgrade. Then he boasted of their team's work and also announced they were gonna introduce a TV station this spring. I personally enjoyed the latest Messenger update. And as always, I want you to comment on this video and tell me what you think. What did you like the most and what you didn't? I'm looking forward to your comments.
Keep in mind, our Telegram channel is still waiting for you. Subscribe to it right now. And of course, press the subscribe button here on YouTube. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and be trendy.